Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Derek Mitchell and I just wanted to welcome you to this YouTube channel if you're new here. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell for notifications for new videos when I publish. I currently publish every week and I mostly teach about graphic design and web development, but I'm scattering in some other tutorials along the way and who knows, maybe someday I'll start a vlog. But for right now, uh, what I wanna do is actually play a piece of a podcast that I recently uh, was on and it's just the audio file. So uh, feel free to tune in and if you like like. Again, don't forget to hit that like button down below and hopefully it helps inspire you for those of you who are wanting to become a graphic designer or really anything, any entrepreneurial endeavor, anything that you're working on right now. Just a reminder that everybody starts from zero and so this is a little bit of my story and how I started from zero and got up to where I am today. So I hope you enjoy guys and just a real quick shout out for those of you who might be interested in learning more about graphic design. I do have an online course called the Graphic Design Boot Camp. I have a lot of courses actually. If you check them out at DerekMitchell.com, but the boot camp is where you should start if you're interested in learning about graphic design. We'll teach you from absolute uh, the absolute beginner basics, how to even install the programs all the way through to advanced techniques to get you up and running quickly. And then I also have a vault. It's a membership where you can get access to literally every course that I have, as well as an exclusive community where you'll be part of our Slack group where you can uh, message me directly and get feedback from me, as well as exclusive lives and bonus videos and materials like that as well. So you can check all that out at my website at DerekMitchell.com and hopefully we'll see you on the other side. If you have any questions about that, feel free to hit me up in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you soon and in the meantime enjoy this podcast my name is Derek Mitchell I'm a creative director with over a decade of experience working as a graphic designer and a web developer and recently I quit my full-time job to pursue teaching online full-time it's been awesome I've got a little over a hundred thousand students at the time of this recording and it's been great getting to share my knowledge as well as just meeting a lot of new people who also love graphic design and marketing and web development and uh, all things technology related so it's been a fun ride it's still relatively new which only been a couple months since I've gone full-time with the teaching side of things so I love it and I can see myself doing this for the rest of my life. So how did I get started and what challenges have I faced in my career? Well, I first got started, I'd say way back in high school. Uh, we were using Photoshop version 5.5. It was for a computer lab class that I had to take and I fell in love with it then. That's when I first was introduced to like the lasso tool and making selections with images and you know, pasting other images on top of things and adding text and all that kind of stuff. And so that was my very first introduction to Photoshop as well as just kind of like computer arts in general. So from that moment on, I loved it. And I've been using Photoshop ever since. So it's been nearly, I think about 21 years that I've been using Photoshop and uh, almost that long with Illustrator as well. So that's basically how I got started and introduced to it. But then when I was in college, uh, I actually went to college just to play baseball. My hopes were to be a major league baseball player. Uh, that was my plan A. Plan B was to be a musician and just be in a rock band. And then plan C was whatever the real world job was going to be. And at that time, I didn't know what that was, uh, but it turned into be graphic design. And the way that I got into that was when I was on campus, uh, my computer or my, my roommate was a computer major and so he got me access to uh, Photoshop through the lab and then um, uh, my roommate or not my roommate but the one of the other guys in my hall in the dorm he was also in, a, in an illustrator class and so he had a homework assignment that we were kind of all working together with and that's where I just realized that I just absolutely loved this. And so with that access to the software and then just being around some other people in the dorms who had classes in digital arts, that's kind of how I continued my path. And so I started making posters for events on campus. So for different bands that were coming through or different like student government stuff. Um, and as I made more posters, more people saw them and they'd ask, you know, who made that poster? And they'd find out that I was the kid doing it. And so they ended up, you know, getting me more work that way. And so it just kind of was a snowball effect where the more I did it, the more people kind of found out that that's what I was doing. And I was able to even turn some homework and some assignments into paying gigs where I'd, I'd find people who needed the work and they'd pay me to do it. And I'd turn it in as a class project. So it was a ton of fun. And uh, it was definitely kind of getting my big toe in the water to turn this into a career. So that's how I, how I got started. And then as far as really, really learning what was possible. I had two really vital and key internships. The first one was with a really small agency. 
a buddy of mine knew this guy who was a graphic designer and he had a couple of people working for him. And so I basically begged him to let me come uh, watch him come be a part of their office and uh, get college credit for it. So I went to their office a couple of days a week and basically just sat right next to the senior designer and just watched him work. And that's where I really, uh, that's, that was probably the best education I ever got was just sitting there watching somebody else work, watching somebody else use the software and learn how they approached problem solving and making real projects that were really going to print or really going to use on the web. And it was amazing. It was really eye opening. And because it was a college credit thing, what ended up happening was I was there for, I don't know, two or three months, I forget, but it wasn't that long. But then once my college credit was fulfilled, I ended up having to get another internship. And so because of that relationship, I was able to get my foot in the door with another company and they had huge clients like MTV, Netflix, the Rush Hour 3 movies with Jackie Chan. It was Nickelodeon. And I'm forgetting a hand. There's a bunch of other just huge clients. And so it was really cool to be able to be a part of that and just see how big this thing could be, this career of graphic design. And so that's what really just like I was already excited about everything, but that's what really sealed the deal that that was like, this is exactly what I want to do with my life. I think the biggest challenge for me at the time while I was in college, especially and shortly thereafter was the Adobe software was really expensive. As a student, I had access to it in the computer labs, but as far as being solo at the time, I think it cost over a thousand dollars to get a license for the software. And so that was just way out of my reach. I couldn't, I couldn't begin to hope to make that much money as a college student without a job. So, um, that was the biggest challenge for me. At, at that point in my career. And then uh, shortly after graduating college, I got married and my wife and I moved to Montana, uh, which we absolutely loved, but it was right at the height of the ec economic collapse in 2008 with everything else. So there was nobody hiring. I didn't have a job, just married, had you know moved to Montana to be by family, but there was, there was literally nothing there. And so that was really challenging. And that also at the same time, that challenge is really what set us up for success because I had to find a way to be successful. Like there was no option to just, you know, like there was literally nobody hiring. So it forced me to kind of look around and, and get creative. And uh, fortunately, my my wife's parents owned businesses. And so they kind of helped us learn how to set up our LLC and how to think like a business owner instead of an employee. And that was just a huge pivotal moment for us, too, where um, we ended up setting up shop as I think I was like 21 or 22 years old. Uh, setting up my own business and just kind of hustling. And so that was a huge challenging time in our life for many years. We ended up living with our, our parents cause we just couldn't make enough money. Um, and I, and I probably should have tried to get a real job, but I was determined to make this thing work. And so that was not only was it the biggest challenge of my life, but, uh, it was also something that made me the strongest and most determined to make it work. So as much as I would have loved to kind of bypass that hard season in our life where, you know, we didn't have we didn't have enough money to pay bills and all that kind of stuff. Living with our parents, we were grateful that we had them to to help us out. Um, but it, it, was, it was tough. It was really tough. And so, uh, that being said, though, it was one of the one of the most defining things in our life that we learned that we could um, we could get through it and we could figure it out. So, what is the secret sauce to be successful as a graphic designer? I think I think what it takes to be successful as a graphic designer is pretty much an overlap in no matter what you do. And what I mean by that is uh, the number one thing is you, you can't ever stop learning, especially in graphic design or in any kind of a tech field where the knowledge changes so fast. I think there are some careers where once you learn it, it kind of stays the same for a really long time, but being with computers and you get new operating systems, you know, just about every year, you know, the Adobe software changes frequently. It's something where once you learn the design concepts, that'll stay the same, you know, the principles and elements of design. But uh, when it comes to actually applying that, you have to continually learn. I think of it like being on a treadmill or not a treadmill, like a like an escalator, like a staircase. Right. So if you're on the the up escalators, if you just stand there, you're going to make it to the top. But imagine that those escalators are going backwards. Right. And they're taking you down. So if you're trying to go up the down escalators, the moment you stop climbing up, you're not just you're not just standing still, you're actually losing ground and going back down. So that's kind of how I think about this. Like you have to continually be learning and applying new things. And the moment you stop, you get stale and stagnant and you kind of fall behind. So 
that's something that I think is a secret. No, it's not even a secret, but it's something that's helped us be successful is uh, I'm constantly learning new things, buying books. I'm, I've spent so much money, you know, tens of thousands of dollars uh, subscribing to different things to try and, you know, just stay current, stay relevant and be very familiar with the software. And I think the other thing that you have to do to be successful is be willing to learn everything but also have something that you can really niche down on and be the best in the world at. So for example, I'm familiar with web development and WordPress sites and Squarespace sites and printing and flash animation and video editing and photography. There's a lot of like a lot of subjects that I'm familiar with, but I'm the best at creating print designs in Photoshop and Illustrator. Like that's kind of my bread and butter for my clients that paired with building WordPress websites. So, I'd say that to be the most successful, like find that one thing that you're really passionate about that you can spend, you know, every spare minute you have learning about it without getting tired. Because I've been doing this, like I said, I've been in Photoshop for like 20 plus years, but as far as actually as a career, it's been about 12. And of those last 12 years, or I'd say since, since for sure, since like 2008, when we got married and started our own business, uh, every day minus, you know, some weekends, but like every day for six to 10 hours a day, I'm in the software every day. And I still love it. So, you know, whether it's this industry or anything you do, you got to find something that you love because there's going to be times where it's a grind and unless you love it, you'll never be able to rise to the top. So I guess to sum up that question, what is the secret sauce to be successful? I'd say two things. One is never stop learning and two, make sure you pick something that you love. And then third bonus point, I would say, define and design your own curriculum. Don't let somebody else tell you what you need to learn. Look ahead, see what's trending, see what's going to help you become better in that niche, whether it's a new software that's coming out or a new programming language or a new skill. If you can see something that's going to complement your current skill set, define your own curriculum, go to the bookstores or buy courses online or find ways to learn about that thing that's going to help you become the best in the world at that thing. So a real life example of that for me, building my own curriculum is in this next season of my life, I need to produce a lot of videos as an online instructor. Creating videos is something that I'm doing now every day. I'm almost more of a video producer now or a video editor than I am a graphic designer. It's, it's kind of hilarious, but learning how to tell my story and teach students, the number one skill that I had to learn was video editing. So for me, I designed my own curriculum around how to become a much better video editor and storyteller and teacher and instructor. And so those were skills that I've been really focusing on the last probably five years of my life. And it's really made a difference on, on how I've been able to be successful in this next stage in this next season of my life. So what advice would I give to a newbie just getting started as a graphic designer? Uh, this one hopefully encourages you and doesn't scare you, but I've been using the software. We'll, we'll just say, we'll say Photoshop specifically for over 20 years, almost 21 years now. And I still don't know everything there is. And I've been using it almost every day for, you know, literally between five to 10 hours a day, like every day. And I still don't know everything. So th that can either encourage you or discourage you. The encouragement hopefully is to think that you don't have to know it all to get started. You don't have to know it all to have fun with the program, to turn it on and just to start pushing pixels around and making fun art just for you and to take the pressure off of having to be the most amazing thing ever. So hopefully that encourages you and doesn't discourage you that like, oh man, I'm never going to figure it out. I, I think honestly, like anybody who thinks that, you know, who's trying to fool you to think they've got it all figured out. I think it's, I think it's, um, I don't want to, I don't want to call him a liar, but like, here's the deal. Like nobody has it figured out. Like don't put that pressure on yourself and feel like you can't get started because you're not good enough yet. Like honestly, there's days even now where I feel like I'm not good enough with my stuff. And so it's those days when you just kind of have to push through and know that your voice is important and that, uh, you're just getting started. Give yourself some grace, have some fun with it. And you just got to keep going at it. Just keep having fun and, and never lose that, um, that desire to keep learning and to make whatever it is you're making next the best thing that you've ever made maybe not the best thing that's in the world but just the best thing that you've ever made and as long as every day is an improvement you're you know you're gonna make it so just stay with it and um yeah that's i guess that's the advice i would give you to a newbie is just just stay with it have fun with it also 
shameless plug for those newbies, if you are brand new as a graphic designer and you're trying to figure things out, check out my graphic design boot camp. It's, uh, <laughs> I don't even want to give myself a plug, but uh, I'm just really passionate about it. I really wanted to make it something that was accessible to people who have literally no experience with graphic design, don't even know how to install the software, right? We start with absolute zero and walk you through the projects. As long as you can follow those directions, you'll get up and running in no time. You'll have a ton of fun with it. And um, I think that's just, I think, you know, whether it's me or anybody else, honestly, I would love it if it was me, but finding that instructor that you resonate with, I've had a lot of instructors that I didn't like, and it made learning that subject really difficult. And then I've had other teachers and instructors that were amazing, and it was it was life changing for me. So I would say, you know, if you, if you take a, sh uh, a Photoshop course or a graphic design course or, you know, something like that, and you just hate it, maybe it's the wrong instructor. And so, you know, even if it's my stuff, you check it out and you don't like my style, it's totally fine. Uh, find somebody that you love and that you can relate to, and that'll make all the difference in your learning and how fast you get good. Because I know you can get good. It's just a matter of getting the time in, right? Even if you have zero drawing skills or zero artistic skills, it's all learnable. It's not something that's like innate. You're not born with it I think it's something that uh, you can start from absolutely zero and become really really good at this and actually have a really thriving career I think what's the most exciting for me is that as long as I have a laptop and it doesn't even have to be my laptop I can log into any computer in the world log into my Dropbox account log into my Adobe Creative Suite and I can be off and running and from anywhere in the world as long as I have the internet and so it's just it's just such an amazing time to be alive and to be able to use this technology that lets us live such a nomadic, free, fun lifestyle, still making an impact with our art and our careers, helping clients, you know, tell their stories and deliver amazing products and just have fun doing it. So anyway, that's, that's what I think guys, you got to find that, that right instructor and, and just stay with it. And you're going to kill it. You're going to do awesome. Thanks for listening today. I hope you learned a ton. And more importantly, I hope you're inspired to take action and to dive in. And if you're interested in graphic design and there's a way that I can help you, I'd love to help you out. Feel free to contact me directly. My email is Derek at DerekMitchell.com. You can find me online at DerekMitchell.com as well as YouTube.com forward slash Derek Mitchell and on Instagram at DMitchellDesign. Thanks again, guys, and I wish you the best of luck in your career moving forward, and hopefully I hear from you guys soon.